I'm excited for this. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Riley. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day, so I thought I'd film to share my good day with you. But today I have a fun little video planned because I love watching videos like this, so I'm excited that I finally get to do a video like this. I'm going to be doing a little lifestyle haul with you of some stuff that I've gotten recently, and I'm going to be doing a little flip through of what my bullet journal looks like so far. So for those of you that enjoy the bullet journal stuff, be sure to stay tuned till the end. I think since I started saying bullet journal stuff, I will start out with the stuff that I got. I got a bullet journal. First of all, this is a Moleskine size large dotted notebook. It's incredibly nice. It is the perfect size for a bullet journal for me, and it's got dots on the inside. You can't really see, but it's dotted on the inside, so it's perfect to make the little like boxes and stuff you gotta do with the bullet journal. And then for the bullet journal for writing, I didn't know what kind of things I'd like to write with so I got three different types of pens. The first ones I got are these Papermate, they are Papermate, right? Papermate flare pens and these ones are more like marker pens and they tend to bleed through the pages so I haven't used these as much but they're still nice for like writing letters and stuff if you're gonna use them. Then the second kind of pen I also got is by Papermate and it is the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. I've got the packaging here. This is what the packaging looks like on them. I love these. I'm a stickler when it comes to like pens and good writing utensils and stuff like that and the Papermate Inkjoys have already been some of my favorite pens but then I found out when I went to Target the last time that they had Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. So I got those and I'm absolutely in love with these for the bullet journal. And then I feel like very common from a lot of people who use a bullet journal, I got the Pilot G2 gel pens as well. I do like these. I prefer the Papermate Inkjoys, but these are still good, especially because I know I'm going to run out of the black Inkjoy one. All right, on to beauty stuff. I picked up a few of these before and I really like them. So I got some more face masks. I got two more of this kind that I really like. It is a watermelon peel off mask and I've really liked the way these have felt on my face and I've really liked the results that they've gotten so I got two more of these. And then I also got another peel off mask. It is an energizing vitamin C peel off mask. Same brand. I think this one was a little bit more expensive because it's got some like more active ingredients in it but still I'm excited to try it out. And since I found out my local Target has a section for Zoella's products when I thought that that was an only you UK thing, I got really excited and decided to go a little crazy and I bought the Blissful Mistful Solid Fragrance and you'd think that this would be a more feminine fragrance but it's actually pretty gender neutral and I really like it so you just kind of like it melts at the touch and you put your finger on it and then put it like wherever you want it and I think it smells great. And the last like beauty-esque product, I kind of freaked out when I found out that Target sold these and they are Me Bath Bath Bombs so there's six of them that come into a little bag like this and in the direction it says to use two to three per bath but I like to make them stretch so I usually only use one but still it makes my bath amazing it makes it smell so good these ones are in the scent of love me and it smells like mango strawberry and apple blossom and they are delicious I haven't used these ones yet but I have some pomegranate ones that I've been using that I still haven't used up yet so I don't know really enjoy 10 out of 10 recommend I also because as you guys know I'm more of a hat person now like a baseball cat person and I've got a yellow one and a pink one that I really like and I was like hmm I kind of want a blue one so I got a blue one this one actually says youth on it I don't know if you can see that or not but it says youth and it's really freaking cute and I'm all about it I got it off of Amazon it was cheap so good go for that go Amazon then I have also picked up some reading material recently I picked up the next two books in one of my favorite series well the sequels to one of my favorite books and that is Girl Online on Tour and Girl Online Going Solo. I'm really excited to have these now and to read them. I am reading Girl Online on Tour right now and it is good so far and I really liked Girl Online, the original one. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's just some cheesy teen romance novel. Yeah, it is. If you don't like those, don't read it. I really like those kind of cheesy teen romance novels. So I got the next two in the series. So hopefully I will love them and I'm sure I will. And the very last thing I've got because I've heard so much hype around it is Milk and Honey. I've heard that this is an amazing book of 
love poetry and I really wanted to read it myself so I finally got it and I am looking forward to reading all of the wonderful things that are inside of it and I will probably do a blog post review or something like that on it when I'm finished with it. Hello, welcome. This is my little bullet journal flip through. As you open up the bullet journal there is my key along with like all the stuff and what it means when I write it down next to each other. And when you flip the page it goes into the two pages I have left blank for my index as you see that I've written down some things that are on each page like the spreads and other ideas for pages. The next page going in I have my year at a glance and I also have my year in pixels which is basically where I track my mood throughout the entire year and as you see these are the kind of days that I've already had so far. Going in a little bit further I have my month at a glance and as you see I've crossed out all of the days so far that have happened I have a little habit tracker which I've been really bad at and I have some February goals for myself. Then in comes my weekly tracker. This is what I've gotten done so far this week and this is today. Sunday is the day that I'm filming this. And then I have a weekly goals and notes at the bottom. Then I have an entire page dedicated to books that I would like to read and I have a page kind of dedicated to little inspirations and quotes that I can look at to make me feel better. I have a page that I wrote down my 2017 goals on. I did a video on this and they're on my vision board that I'm going to be hanging up soon but I thought it would be also nice to have them in this place. And the last thing I have written down so far are some video ideas that I should be getting done soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and click the little bell button so you're notified whenever I upload. You can follow me on all of my social media which is at the Riley Kyle on every single platform. The links to everything I have is in the description below. If you click the two little buttons on the screen it'll take you to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel and the video box will take you to my last video. I love you guys lots and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, bye.